Hi, uh, here we are again to talk more about CSS this time and specifically float. And we need to dig into float. So, uh, you know, I have an example here to describe one of the ways that float is meant to be used. And I think this was actually the original idea for float. And people do a lot more with it now, but I think this was the original idea for the way that float was meant to be used. And it's still a good, you know, use for float, okay? Um, what I have here is I have an HTML document with a body tag, and then there's a div that contains, um, what is this, six paragraphs. Okay, actually, I don't even need this one, so let's get rid of that. I have five paragraphs, and each of these paragraphs has some information about Pikachu, okay, because I know that you're all interested in Pikachu. Um, Pikachu is a Pokemon, by the way, and you can read these paragraphs if you want, and they'll tell you all about Pikachu. Um, the first paragraph has an image in it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do before we even get to float is take a, another look at the image tag. So the image tag, um, I've put it in a paragraph because the image tag is not meant to be floating around in the body tag. The image tag is meant to be within another tag. It should always be within a block. So, you know, if you have an image tag, you don't want to put it outside your paragraph like that. Instead, the image tag should go inside the paragraph along with the text. Well, that seems a little weird, but actually, you know, the image tag is an inline tag by default. So you know, there's Pikachu's waving at you, right? So the image tag just goes in the paragraph or in a div or in some other tag with the, along with the text, okay? Um, and, you know, you can, you can kind of work with that, and there's some exceptions to the rule, but in general, like, that's kind of how the image tag normally works, okay? We put it inside the paragraph. So that's what I've done here, okay? Let's take a quick look at this and see what it looks like um, in the browser, okay? So this example is float number one. I'm going to drag it inside my browser there, and it looks like this, okay? And um, we can see the picture of Pikachu here, and the text aligns at the bottom of the picture, okay? So really what's happening here is the, um, the image, you could imagine this as being the first word of this line, right? And so it aligns on the baseline of the text at the bottom edge of the text with the, you know, with the first word here. And it's just like, imagine this is a word, but it just happens to be this tall. And then the text runs on like this, and then it goes on to the next paragraph, right? Okay, so uh, so how can we make this look better? It would be really nice if our text kind of wrapped around this nicely, you know, like in a book. The text would actually stop, start here at the top and then continue and wrap around, right? So how can we do that? Well, first of all, let's um, contain all of our content a little bit. So why don't we set main up? So what we'll do is we'll say, you know, main, um, you will have a width of, I don't know, how about 600 pixels and uh, margin auto, right? So that way we can kind of put it in the middle of the page. And uh, maybe the image tag will give it a border just so we can see where the edges are. So I'll say border one pixel, one Pikachu solid um, black. How about that, right? Okay. Okay, so that looks a little better. We still got a problem, though. So you can see the outline for the picture there, and you can see, indeed, the text aligns right at the bottom edge of the picture, right? Okay, so how do I get the text to wrap around the picture? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to give the image the property float, okay? And so I described float in one of the other videos before this one, you know, so I won't describe it too much here again, but um, I'm going to float the picture to the left, and essentially, what this is going to do is it's going to move the picture all the way up the screen, push it all the way to the left, and then any other block elements are going to ignore this, okay? Text, though, will wrap around it like this, okay? So now that the image is floated to the left, you can see the text just kind of fills the rest of the space and then kind of wraps around, Right, So that looks okay, um, better than before, but still a problem when the text runs right up against the picture, right? So that's kind of a problem. That doesn't look very good. How can we fix that? Well, why don't we give the image some margin, okay? When we write margin like this, um, you can imagine this as being the top, left, bottom, and right. So you can put four values in here, 
okay? And the first one will be the top, the second one will be the left, bottom, and right. So you can think about this if you just remember that it starts at the top and then go around clockwise, okay? Um, if you use two values, this will be the top and bottom, left and right, okay? And if you use one value, it's just the same on all four sides. So what I want to do here is I want to set the top to zero margin, the left to say 1M, or I mean the right to 1M, the bottom can be 1M, and the uh, left side can be zero, okay? So, you know, we'll save that and we'll test it here. Oh, now that reads pretty good, right? So I've got no margin on this side, so everything aligns here, no margin at the top, and then 1M margin here and at the bottom. Okay, so anyway, so that gets you started on float. That's one way to use float if you have a picture that falls in a block of text and you want the text to wrap around. Okay, thanks for watching.